taken to Kuwait in 2013 to work as a supermarket attendant. But to her surprise, her handlers gave her out to become a housemaid for one of the country's rich families. This 23-year-old, who we shall only identify as Ruth, worked under conditions she described as inhuman, with her bosses mistreating her daily. They told me to carry a sack of rice from the first floor to the second floor, so I couldn't manage. Then they said, if you cannot carry this sack of rice, then your hands are useless, let me cut them. She cut me, and they started beating me, kicking me. The language barrier between her and the Arab family made life even more difficult. So whenever they tell me to do something and I don't understand, they beat me. I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep. After months of mistreatment, she finally managed to escape from her bosses and return to the Arab company that she had been attached to. Ruth was again sent to another home to do the same work as a housemaid. The conditions were not any different. I escaped and I went to Kenyan embassy. I met many girls at the embassy, but they had su such cases. They were raped. Her condition later turned from bad to worse when she ended up in prison. There is no Ugandan embassy in Kuwait, so she had difficulty finding help. Ruth is lucky to be back home after doing time in jail. According to the Anti-Human Trafficking Task Force of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, more than 100 Ugandans are languishing in Kuwait prisons. They committed immigration offences and two, they could have committed offences related to, to their employment. Because in Kuwait, it's an offence to run away from work. So most of these girls go and they find the situation are bad and they escape. The coordinator of the unit, Moses Binoga, says arrangements are being made to get the Ugandans out of these prisons. We are going to work with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Interpol to inquire from Kuwait government uh, about the fate of our people and work out modalities to have them be brought back to Uganda. Uganda has now stopped the labor export, especially women who are taken out to work as housemaids. Relatives of the Ugandan still stranded in Kuwait come to the Internal Affairs Ministry, seeking help on how to get their loved ones back home. Even if you want to assist your stranded child, how do you do it? We're stuck. Police say at least 79 people were trafficked out of the country from January to May this year, and most of these were taken to work in Kuwait. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.